Now with six new video shows the moments a group of teenagers crashed their stolen van into a utility pole. People who live nearby rushed from their homes to help. And one of the teens was killed. Police arrested four others. Veronica Macias is live at the scene with more. Veronica. Steve Carroll, well, the camera on this porch mainly captures who's coming in and out of this house on 6th Street. But on Sunday morning, it captured the moments when a speeding minivan slammed into a power pole and sent pieces of shredded metal everywhere. On the upper left-hand corner of the screen, you can see the Chrysler town and country bolt by. The van jumps the curb, losing control, and knocks down a utility pole on 6th Street near Manitoba. Neighbors come out, and they can't believe what they're witnessing. Seconds later, a squad car appears. I just thought somebody died because it was smashed. The van was smashed. Police confirm an 18-year-old, Rashad Higgins, was thrown out of the van at the moment of impact and later died. Those who rushed outside say officers arrived instantly. From what, when I seen it, the, the officers were already giving them CPR. And there was at least three officers trying to help them. We know the suspects, ages 15 to 18, were being followed for car break-ins and are believed to be linked to a garage burglary. The van used in the crime spree also stolen. Just today, Milwaukee Police Chief Ed Flynn addressed the city's problem with underage criminals. These young felons are on the streets not because all of our judges and all of our DAs are apathetic about their duties. They're out there because we have significant capacity issues. While there was no gun found in this case, police did discover plenty of ammunition that spilled out and trailed the four suspects who tried to run from police. Now, I've checked with juvenile court, and they tell me the remaining teens have not been charged by the DA's office, and they could face charges as adults. And because they haven't been charged, we don't know if they have any priors. Reporting live on Milwaukee's south side, Veronica Macias, today's TMJ4. We'll stay on top of this one, Veronica. Thanks.